We are on Highway 95 in the far reaches of western Arizona. The Colorado River is between us and those mountains. Those mountains are in California. We're going to go see something a little bit different today. Just entered the little hamlet of Poston or Poston. I've heard it pronounced that way. I'm going to go with Poston. And right down the road here is a little memorial. That you guys might be interested in. Almost rode right by it. the Poston Japanese internment memorial 1942 the United States government interred in a camp here Americans of Japanese descent. And uh, where this monument is, there's not much left. I think there's some foundations out of here. This is one of two camps in Arizona. I think there was more in California. But the uh, these Americans were were brought to a camp here. There was buildings built. Um, they could have been anything from bankers to waitresses. And because of their lineage, they were brought here and interred during World War II. And um, you know, they talk about these uh, FEMA camps and stuff like that, that uh, Americans might be able to, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. However, there is precedence for it. There's a bunch of names here that line this memorial of the folks that uh, that were interred here and just to tell you the fortitude of these people even one of those plaques back there talked about uh, some of these folks were enlisted they enlisted in this camp and went to fight in Europe for us So things that you don't think could ever happen, they or may not have always already happened. May have been necessary, but it doesn't seem constitutional. There are some ruins. We're gonna go down this road a little ways and uh, and check them out. All right, I'm gonna head up the road here.
this is the post in school. find it. There's a building of interest in here. So this is the post in school or the old post in school. Um, all these buildings you see here are later. They look like maybe 50s, 60s kind of thing. And uh, this is closed down. Looks like it was quite a little complex, but we're here for for one particular building, which is kind of one of the last remaining remnants of the Japanese and their internment here. This building was the Post and School Auditorium, and it was built by the um, interred Japanese. They came down here and built this place out of simple adobe bricks and plaster, not plaster, stucco. And as you can see, it's quite a large building. And after Afterwards, the school was built around this. Now, a few years ago, um, it was still here and mostly intact, but someone um, arsoned the building, burned the building down, um, committed arson, however you want to put it. But there was a lot of effort put into this. This thing burned hot. You can see where the um, might have been a basketball hoop or something like that actually melted. The stage would have been back there. It's quite a place. I'm looking for something in particular. Here we are. There's a cornerstone right over here. Boston Elementary School, Unit 1, June 1943, built by the Japanese resident of Poston, or Japanese residents of Poston. They even refer to themselves as prisoners residents. Hmm. It's quite amazing. From what I understand, the uh, Poston Historical Society is trying to find some way to preserve what's left and maybe make it into some type of a portion of the memorial down the road. Well, we'll leave this all right here without opinion, conjecture, for your pondering and eking out of thoughts and come to your own conclusions. Please comment, subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys watching. Adios.